Welcome to the PB Game Time Playbook with Jeff Greer. Ready? Welcome to the first episode of the fourth, count them, four seasons now of the playbook. The 2013 football season is upon us. We've got Village Academy and King's Academy kicking everything off for what should be another great high school football season here in Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. That game's on Thursday night. Now normally in this spot, you'll see a funny bit, you may see a skit, something stupid. But today I thought I'd dedicate this to Mr. Jerry Lohman. As you probably know by now, the 2013 football season started with some sadness. On Friday night at Olympic Heights preseason kickoff classic against Wellington, Mr. Lohman, the head referee in that game, collapsed on the field in the second quarter. He was taken to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Mr. Lohman died doing what he loved. I didn't know Jerry personally, though I did recognize him in the photos with his trademark white mustache. And from talking to the coaches around the area, I know he was known as a fair referee who would always talk out any call that he had made with a coach or a player if they asked. Remember Mr. Lohman on Friday nights. Remember the spirit with which he officiated games. And remember, it's not a right to be involved in high school football. It's a privilege. Speaking of privileges, there's no better way to start off the 2013 season, at least on Friday night, than with a good old fashioned Dwyer Glade Central tilt out in Bell Glade. Now I know that Glade Central is at home, they'll be in the muck, they'll have the crowd, but gosh, this Dwyer team is going to be pretty mad after losing on Saturday night to Miami Central. Now remember, those games don't count. So both teams are 0-0 zero and zero to start this thing. And I like Dwyer's size, especially in the trenches, to be the big difference in this one. I think they're equal in a lot of skill positions. But I'm going to take Dwyer here on the road, getting some revenge uh, from last week's loss and winning this one 28-21. That's not the only good game out west. We've got Palm Beach Central hosting Royal Palm Beach. That's a nice little rivalry game that's formed there. Palm Beach Central won last week, a little bit of a surprise upset. They beat nationally ranked Miami Northwestern 10 to seven. Royal Palm Beach, of course, pushed Fort Pierce Central in their kickoff classic. So this one's gonna be a fun one. I think it'll be a defensive struggle, but I like Palm Beach Central because of the size that it has on its offensive line. I thought the defense really was impressive. And I'm thinking that Rudolph St. Germain is gonna be a breakout star this fall for the Broncos. So I will take them at home 21-14. Last up, we've got the Donnybrook for Delray Beach. It's Atlantic hosting American Heritage. These guys are going to be at each other's throats, but I'll tell you this much, it's not going to be close. After a spring game and an exhibition game under new coach TJ Jackson, Atlantic has given up 63 points and they have scored a goose egg. So that is not a good sign for them, especially against an American Heritage team that went up to Jacksonville and beat a nationally ranked opponent in First Coast 17-9 last week. That means the defense is good. The offense just needs some time to get into a rhythm. I think they'll find it here in the opener for 2013. So I'll take American Heritage on the road at Atlantic, 35 zip. Remember, we've got that active Facebook page. You can search us on there at PB Game Time or always on Twitter. You can follow me at Jeff Greer or just come to our website, pbgametime.com, for all your scores, updates, and other news. See you later, everybody. I'm back! <clears throat> Ho, ho, ho.